Good morning and happy Wednesday. Nate and I are coming at you with your DP News. So hush, turn on those listening ears because DP News starts now. Mr. Sayers TV slash film and playwriting students are presenting a show Friday night at 7 p.m. in the Little Theater. We're hoping that you could spread the word about it. Please come again, 7 p.m. Little Theater if you're interested. This show will be answering questions such as, is there a Disney princess for the Hunger Games? How would Mulan teach a self-defense class? What would Disney villains talk about during a group therapy session? Who will graduate from the Walt Disney University? He, ho he hopes to see as many of you there. The International Baccalaureate Diploma Program is now accepting applications for the 2014-2015 school year for the graduating class of 2016. Sophomores intending to apply to the program must pick up an application and turn it in no later than Monday, March 3rd. An IB diploma can give you an advantage when applying to colleges, award university credit, and prepare you for the demands of college. Applications are available at the front office for Mr. Safro, Mrs. Beckstead, or Mr. Moran. If you're a smart noodle, you won't miss this opportunity and chance to participate in a fa fantastic academic experience. See your counselor for more questions. CSC, a community service club on campus, is creating a new school mural for us. In order to come up with the design, they are having a school-wide mural design competition with the overarching themes of global awareness, international unity, and multiculturalism. It will be in the hallway next to the vending machines in the H-Wing alongside of the language lab. Everyone is welcome to submit. There is no number. There is no limit to how many people could submit. It will be a $100 prize for the first place winner and blender certificates for the second and third place winners. Please turn in your submissions to H-15. You can get flyers in your art class, the office, or in H-15. All submissions are due March 31st. For information, please go to dpcsclub at gmail.com. Speaking of art, Google is hosting an art contest with the theme, If I Could Invent One Thing to Make the World a Better Place. They're offering a $30,000 college scholarship as well as a $50,000 Google for Education Technology grant for the winner's school. There's more information if you go to google.com and click on the phrase beneath the search bar. On another note, clubs meeting today are Baking for a, a Cause, Catholic Club, Debate Club, DECA Club, Environmental Adventure Club, Hiking Club, Good Food Club, Local Color, Muslim Student Association, Mock Trial, and Virtual Enterprise. DP Silent Auction is still going on. There are so many cool items being sold at a discounted price. Tutoring and college counseling sessions are also being sold. The link is at www.dpnews.org. Keep on bidding. It ends March 2nd, so get on that. AP Kids. This Friday, February 28th, turn in your AP exam registration payment to Miss Mills in Mr. Woodard's office. Any later, there will be an additional fee. If you need help paying for your AP exams, please make an appointment with Mr. Woodard. DP has scholarship money that you can help pay for your exams. All right, that's all the news that we have for you today. Thanks for listening. Now over to John with sports. Yesterday, boys tennis defeated Oaks Christian 12-6. Singles player Patrick Corpus, recovering from a cold, fell behind in his second round set against two-star recruit Daniel Sutman, but fought his way back one point at a time to take the set at 7-5. Quinn Hensley also struggled in his second round match against Zachary Denham, but closed it at 6-4. Only Miles Baldwin breezed through his first round match versus Denham. In doubles, we slept, swept, losing only four games. Mason Cassidy and Andrew Tufankian, Greg Steigerwald and Ankish Kamani, and Joshua Wang with Noah Glushinkoff and Sanid Shabar. Great win, boys. Also yesterday, our boys soccer team had a second round CIF playoff match against Palos Verdes. They, the boys struggled to recover after a three hour drive and came up short, losing to the Sea Kings 3 0. Coach York said that their electric offense was too much to handle, but praised seniors Tucker Schneider, John Sigurdsson, and Alex Pepe Jimenez. Our guys had an incredible season with an overall record of 17, 4, and 3. Amazing season, boys. Well, that's all the sports news I have for you. I'm John from DP News. Have a good day, DP.